Okay. So if you have a, a list of items, so stat, enter, and you go to your list and let's say you have a list, this isn't going to be the same as maybe yours in your question, but I'm just going to give you an example here. So with these two lists here, all right, um, uh, okay, I got to erase this here. Uh, with these two lists here, I am going to go back to the home screen and again, I'm going to find a, uh, a line of best fit for this data. So I want the data on, so make sure your plots are on, right? And that graph, there we go. So you're going to have your data on, you know how to do that. Line of best fit, again, one more time, what do we do? Stat, calculate, we're going to do line reg, and I'm going to say uh, from list 1 is my x values, from list 2, and I want you to put that into, and here's where you put it into the y equals, vars, y vars, function, and I'm going to select that one number one. So I'm going to get it to generate a line of best fit, and I'm going to get a calculator to put it right in the y equals. So there's the data, and there's my line. And if I graph that, I have my points and my line of best fit. So that's a little summary or review of that other bit. But if you want to interpolate, so let's say I want to find out, okay, where's my list? Here's stat, enter. I want to find out what 10, x equals 10. I want to find out exactly what x equals 10 would yield according to the general um, relationship described by that line of best fit. So let's say x equals 10. I want to find out. So I go to graph, okay, and I'm going to simply go to second function here. You see this calculate above there? Okay, calculate. And then you just hit enter because you want to input an x value. So you see you get this screen. So that's second function, calculate, and then number one, value. So now I'm going to put in x equals 10, and I'm going to hit enter. And look what it does. It goes exactly to the spot on the line of best fit, and it gives you right here the y value. All right? So pretty easy. All right? Again, second function, calculate. We're going to input a value. You're going to put in 10, or whatever number you want and it'll spit out the y value. So that's interpolating, right? Because interpolation is yielding data from the graph within the domain of the data points that you already have. So that means it's in between two points that you've already graphed. If we want to extrapolate, okay? So let's just try this first. Let's just say, okay, um, let's do second function calculate. And I want to know what 30, uh, whoops, what did I just do? Second function calculate, enter, and I want to type in 35. So let's see. Oh, it comes up to this. If you want to extrapolate something and it, you get this, all right, it will tell you that 35 is not a good number. You can't do that. Why not? Because on your screen, you have to have x equals 35 on your screen somewhere. So just, so watch this. So I'm only going up to what x value? I'm only going up to 20. See that? So if you want to extrapolate to x equals 35, you're going to have to go and change your window so that it's on the calculator screen for it to work on. So I need to make this bigger than 35. So I'll just maybe say x max 37. Now if I graph it, okay, so 37 is over is uh, over here somewhere. Now is the line on this screen? Is the y value going to be on this screen? No. So I'm going to have to extend the y value because I need to be able to see that solution. So one more thing you would need to do then, y max, make that pretty big, and let's just make sure we have it really big so that we can see everything. All right, so I should have no problem there, right? So 35 is going to be around here somewhere. I should expect a y value up around here. So then you just go back, second function, calculate a value. Now try 35. Boom, see? If it's on your screen, then you should the calculator will figure it out for you. So x equals 35 according to this line of best fit and the general relationship between x and y, right? The general description of what's happening here. If you had an x value of 35, you should have a y value of around 43. So that's interpolation and extrapolation with line of best fit on your graphing calculator.